huge thank you. Certainly, when we didn't have strong female you know, characters on television when I was growing up, so throwing back the pressure through to Captain Jane Ray, thanks so much. <laughs> yeah. But you have had great actresses. We had great more elder Maybe the best. actresses. Yes, yeah. we do. Helen Rowan, Judy Bench, that's mm -hmm. a job. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <coughs> my question, oh, my question is, um, I know that Voyager weren't involved in the movies, but I also said this to Gates yesterday, that I was very frustrated that when they made the Next Generation movies, that the female roles were just quashed. Basically, they went from having, you know, sort of like episodes that having two lines. So I just wanted to how you felt about that in the whole Star Trek franchise. Oh, I didn't think that felt good. Not even pissed off, just sort of. Again, I have to refer to history. Yeah. I read voraciously, so I'm not speaking <coughs> out of some silliness, right? This is not. I'm not being stupid when I say this. Uh, it's a great loss, historically, <coughs> that there is not more equality. It is equality that makes it interesting. Why we live in this continual fear that it, 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 it makes it uninteresting is quite beyond uh, um, what I can grasp. Is it not so much uh, finer, higher, deeper, better, that two should be on the same level? And from this same level, what could possibly emerge but excellence? So it will come again. It is. It's what I said to that young girl, it's what I said to the sociologist. It resides within, so be it, ladies. You know, let's stop talking about how men are running the world. Let's stop talking about it. The men find it dull, we find it dull. Let's just start being independent and alive, curious, passionate, and original. And the rest will come to pass. Do it. I think I have time for one more question.